Hey, what's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to give you a weekly update and check out some of the growth that's happening in the tank. Okay, so this update we're going to start over here on the left side of the tank in the Zoa Garden. As you can see, um, the utter chaos corals have gone through quite a bit of a growing spurt. Right now, uh, currently there's about 22 uh, polyps of the utter chaos and I'm really, really happy about the way they've grown. And it looks like it's getting towards the point where I did have to uh, start thinking about thinning out the area around them to allow them to grow. Um, and increase in size. The rock with the sunny D's and the Rastas and the worldwide coral Pandora pallies are doing quite well. The Rastas are starting to grow and spread and the Pandoras are very very slow growers with now you can see the third polyp being more pronounced. I did take the Fiji Fire uh, Zoas and put them on this rock to get them out of this area because it seems out of the whole garden that top section is the one where they do um, they don't do so well whether it's because it's shaded or the light conditions in that area they just don't like but it seems like up in that area they they just don't do well at all now I did move the blastos over to this section temporarily and you'll find out why in a minute but the blastos are doing really really well and the heads down at the bottom are doing uh, really good and getting more and more pronounced every day and um, you can see the fungia plate is doing well in this home and loves this area. The purple, gold, and green candy canes in the back are going through a growth spurt as well because as you can tell if you haven't seen the Reefroids video, they are feeding on Reefroids a lot and it's evident now in the way that they're starting to grow and starting to spread and pinching off and um, we're going to be following the progress of this closely. The green A can or whatever it is in the back <laughs> it's still too small to identify I mean to my eyes I'm not a coral taxonomist so I don't know what this would be classified as uh, but it's getting bigger and bigger every day and it's grown twice in size since I started feeding the reef to the tank so hopefully in a, in a short period I, it'll get to the point where I can get an ID on it. The purple and green favia as well as the night before Christmas favia and this neon favia are doing really good. Out of the three of them, um, the night before Christmas favia is growing the best with now it's coming down the sides of the rock. I can't really get it for you, maybe like right there, but you'll notice it right here. It's starting to spread to the bottom and spread on the rock that I put it on. The Wellsy from Billy Pipes, uh, this it, it's growing really well with the way it's feeding and now that it's taking food in on all of the um, mouths, it's staying open and it's expanding to the edge of the disc that it was that it came in on. The Acan Garden is doing really, really well. As you can see, there's the the heads on this one that was growing the slowest is, are now coming out of the bottom. You can see right there there's two with maybe a third on the upper right, right in there. So that's three new heads that it's forming. Uh, so I'm pleased that I'm seeing growth out of that Acan. You can tell uh, this one here is getting more color with now a purple being shown uh, and coming through. These were, uh, are an experiment that was, they were given to me by Billy Pipes and the object of this is to feed them, 
get them to grow up and spread and fill out the rock and eventually get put on a larger rock so a nice colony can form because their colors are amazing. So we're trying to see how these things are going to grow out and what they uh, turn into. One of the red mushrooms that was on the rock and was missing for quite some time is now revealed itself. It's growing in the back of that rock and it seems like it's not bothered by the fact that that's a low light area. So it will hopefully grow as big as its, uh, its family members that are now on the face of the rock near the Euphelia Garden. Of course the neon green candy cane is doing really really well. Its feeders are out pretty much all the time now looking for food and you can tell every day this coral gets a little bit bigger. The little fungia plate is growing larger and as well as something that I haven't talked about it for a long time but the pagoda coral that it's resting on it's holding on and it has kept this area alive for the longest time so as far as this coral it's it's doing quite well as for, in this area but again it's receded from what it used to be and the intentions for that is just not just to leave it there and just see what happens the birthday cake coral from billy pipes is spreading more and more you can see that skirt is now down lower and it's blowing in the in the current so I'm really waiting patiently to see what happens as far as if it'll jump onto the rock and start encrusting onto that bottom part the rainbow cloves are doing well there's now five of them with a sixth one coming in feeding the corals as much as I do seems to be helping out them as well this is a piece of the Monte, the encrusting Montipora that I moved that must have broken off and stayed with the rock and is now growing out there. So it's kind of interesting to see how some things that get left behind um, eventually start popping out and growing on the rocks. The Jason Fox Barney Coral as well as the whole entire SPS shelf is doing well. You'll notice that one piece is missing and that was because I woke up this morning actually and found it on the sand bed. It has been moved to the back of this rock to join this one as well because I want to just try and grow it out and um, eventually it'll go to a frag tank and uh, we'll see what happens as far as where it goes from there. Um, with the amount of coral in the tank and because of something that's popped up recently that I'll go into in a minute, um, the plan is to go to a bigger tank soon and I'm going to need as much as I can to fill out that tank. The cat's paws and, and the green, uh, what appears to be a bird's nest, is doing really well. As well as the centerpiece, the Montipora Capricornis is doing really, really nicely. And it's growing, it's, it's gone up about twice the size since the last update. The overflow tower is growing by leaps and bounds. And the star of that has to be the Hollywood Stunner Chalice. As you can see, the edge is, that was encrusted onto the overflow tower has now stretched up. The whole piece is scooping upwards and it will form be forming that chalice shape so uh, I'm really excited about getting that back to where it used to be when it was in my 50 gallon tank a long long time ago and that's a full-blown chalice now as far as the Euphelia garden is concerned you're going to see a change here in that the purple torch has been moved from its place next to the Worldwide Coral's uh, Neon Green Torch. Um, the reason for that is torches seem to be doing really well in this area. As you can see this green and purple tip is, the tentacles are really, really expanded and are thicker than ever. So I like them in this area. And also the reason for that is I'm starting to have more corals uh, as far as Euphelias are concerned 
needing homes on this rock. And because of that, I need to keep, and I am going to be keeping the torches kind of away from these others to prevent stinging incidents. So, because of that, I just made some room, and I'll be putting more and more frog spawns and hammers up in this area to fill them out. Which leads me to this area right here. These corals uh, were supplied by reefing with Billy Pipes, and the intention of this, these corals is not to become part of my reef, but also, this one is a pink... Uh, tip, but it's an it's kind of an ultra pink coral that in his tank seemed to really really go transparent. So because I've taken uh, ones that were like that before from Billy, this one and this frog spawn up top, and they filled out and colored up. Uh, we're experimenting to see what happens with these corals from his tank that need to do the same thing and fill out and just the transparency needs to go away and see what they turn into and we're specifically excited about what will the colors be of this pink tip in my tank. The only other thing I have coral wise is again this is two different frags of Duncan's from Billy Pipes tank these will be going um, most likely to a frag show to be sold. Uh, they're just being, basically my tank is a nursery for these, these two frags. And uh, as you can tell, they are um, fully open, the sweepers are out, and uh, the tentacles are, are looking for food in the tank, so they're doing well, and uh, we'll see how that develops. Fish-wise, there is some news. Um, well, let's start off. The yellow tank that you just saw in the, go in the back is doing really well. The two clowns are really enjoying the fact that they have a whole bunch of euphilia in this corner. And uh, they are weakly, you know, basically laying eggs like crazy on this rock. So, they're always doing well. The problem is, right here with my hippo tang and my powder blue. The powder blue is showing a lot of aggression um, towards the hippo tang, not to the point where it's gonna cause a death, but it's just simple aggression that they're having. As you can see, he chases the hippo tang around the tank for a little bit, and then he'll stop and the hippo tang will come out again. And that is also the reason why I am in need of stepping up my tank size. The time has come where I knew it would be when I first bought these fish and um, they're going to need a home that's, that's bigger than the one I have. So the aim right now is I'm looking at a 125, a 6 foot tank to put them in and build up the system so these two stop doing this. The only other fish that are in the tank are the two mollies. They're huge at this point, um, and doing real well. They both hang out with each other until one of them gets nasty, and then the other one retreats to this little cave. But they're doing well in the tank, and I don't assume there's going to be a problem with them. Well, that's it for the Monday update. So... Uh, as always, um, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you are not subscribed to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And as always, this is Scott, and I'll see you all next time around the reef tank. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.